We've got breaking news. The Ohio Senate just voted to override the governor's veto of a bill that will restrict medical care for transgender minors. The bill will also block transgender girls from playing in female sports. NBC News correspondent Maggie Vespa is following the latest for us. So, Maggie, what kind of impact will this bill have and when is it going into effect? Yeah, so as you pointed out, Sinclair, this is kind of a two-pronged bill. It's a combination of bills that were introduced separately and then combined, passing with a supermajority in the Senate and the House, then vetoed by the governor, and they have now overridden that veto. So in 90 days, when this goes into effect, essentially this spring, this will prevent minors from getting any kind of gender-affirming care that includes hormone blockers, therapy, those kinds of things. And it will also prevent girls and women from, uh, transgender girls and women, I should say, from competing on high school and collegiate uh, athletic teams, basically women's sports in the state of Ohio. This vote came today after we heard dozens of lawmakers on both sides of the issue effectively stand up and say why they were going to vote the way they did. Here are two examples of, of what we just heard. Take a listen. Despite what the liberals say, gender is not assigned at birth, but rather from the moment of conception, you are either male or you are female. And there is no such thing as gender affirming care. I find it very um, disconcerting that we stand here and make bold statements and not really understand or accept the fact that someone has their own autonomy and being able to make choices about their own uh, medical care or how they want to be seen in this world. Now, we should point out Ohio's governor, if you're keeping track, is a Republican, Mike DeWine. He had vetoed that bill not because he's against uh, banning gender-affirming care of any sort. He basically said he drew the line at surgery, and he has since introduced his own executive order banning surgery for minors. Now this bill takes care of all kinds of gender-affirming care. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.